All right guys, so we're gonna do walk around. Uh, super windy out, so I had to dub over the entire video, unfortunately. Got the quick fist installed on the driver's side. Um, mounted them low, so I have room to mount an ax later, maybe. Not sure that I really needed one right now, but a shovel would have come in handy on my uh, trial run that I did a couple weeks ago. Something else that would have come in handy a couple weeks ago. Um, mounted that little bear bottle opener. The little cool thing I found on Amazon. Just a little cast aluminum piece. Mounted it in a good spot. It's kind of handy right there. Uh, the way I've got the tent set up open into the driver's side. So walking up on the back, I uh, did this off camera. I did this a few weeks ago. Put this weather guard uh, pack rat system in it. Uh, these are very expensive. It's watertight, heavy duty commercial grade toolbox basically. And since I raised the tent up high on this, I really needed some weight down low. This thing weighs probably loaded about 250, 300 pounds. And it is really, really made the trailer suspension actually work and it doesn't bounce anymore it doesn't ride rough um this this thing new sells for twelve to fourteen hundred dollars i got this one used off of marketplace for 200 bucks the wooden table here on the back that folds off the gate was already on the trailer when i got it just uses some uh, shelf hinges shelf brackets that are hinged on the uh, tailgate itself it's pretty simple i probably should seal the wood or something because it's getting wet and everything it's it's starting to to warp but it's really nice setup, it's handy, and it's cheap. <laughs> so working in my shop, I don't have any electricity out there yet. Just built it last year. I picked up these lights from Home Depot. They're about 130 bucks with tax. And I'm powering it off my Jackery Explorer 500. And about four and a half, five hours of use. These are drawing 100 watts. It was uh, went from 90 to what you see here on the camera, percent. So the high lift jack, it's one of the Patriot editions. It's actually one of the once it's taller it's like five foot my buddy ray i went camping with a couple weeks ago I actually had one of these laying around he used it around the house and it sat in the mud for a little bit but it's other other than that it was brand new still had the paperwork attached to it and he sold it to me for 20 bucks so um i think the mounts cost more than that i think they were like 30 but uh it is a solid unit and i'll explain why i need one of those here in a little bit so looking inside the trailer i have about a foot and a half at the front ahead of the rat packs box and that's where I keep my water tank kind of strapped in. I do have some uh, tie downs that I just received today from Amazon and uh, I'll be mounting those to the floor so I can secure that better. So this trailer came with the roto packs already mounted, one on each side. Um, I did purchase another mount and I, I'm wishing I would have just got another extension. It had a water tank on one side and a fuel tank on the other. I did swap that out for another fuel tank. You can get those refurbished or blemished models from roto packs for quite a bit cheaper so looking underneath this trailer it has torsion axles and that's why i needed the high lift jack because if i ever have to change a tire on this trailer no factory jack and the forerunner is not going to work no bottle jack is going to reach so i need something with a little bit of lip and this is a full steel frame trailer so it'll work great so up front in the it used to be a battery box this trailer did have a, a very basic battery system in it um, has an inverter in there still that I, I don't think works anymore. The wiring's just a mess. So that's why I opted to go with the Jackery 500. That's portable. I can take it in the tent. I can power a heated blanket. I can power a light. Everything up there, I can bring it out, charge phones and stuff. Um, the 500, it's expensive. I think they're about 400 bucks. There, I did find a promo code online to get mine for $100 off. So it was only $399 or no, $299. I can't remember. It's on Amazon. I've got a link in the video description. Um, really good thing though. That thing is awesome. Like I said, I got almost five hours of powering those hundred watt LED shop lights and it still has some charge on it. About 30%, 25%, somewhere around there. Um, future plans for the trailer. It needs, I need to change the hubs and I found the hubs at Northern Tool. They're about $59 a piece, come with bearings and everything. I want to change and get rid of these giant 33s on a Jeep TJ five lug pattern. And I want to go to, to a Toyota 6x5.5, I believe. And I would like to get some matching Toyota wheels, but I'm trying to keep this as budget as possible. And those TRD Pro wheels, the black kind of six-spoke wheels, they're just ridiculous. Everybody wants $1,200 or more for a set of takeoffs. The wheels are $200 a piece everywhere online. But the TRD Off-Road, which mine is an Off-Road Premium, so it has the blacked-out stuff. But the regular ones, they have a nice-looking wheel. It's the same size same offset same tire size and you can get those for next to nothing because everybody that buys one of those immediately swaps them out to something else and i've seen i found some locally i 
need to get in touch with the guy. He had three, which I need three, with no tires for like 220 bucks. And that seemed like a pretty good deal, but uh, yeah, I do. That's the next thing I believe I'm going to swap out the hubs on it and go ahead and get a matching tire and wheel combo that will fit the four runner. That way, I have complete uh, you know, interchangeability. It may not match, but it'll work. All right, so here's the breakdown. I paid three thousand dollars for the trailer itself, home built, torsion axles, tires and wheels, everything like it sets, um, tags, title, the tent. I got a heck of a deal on, nearly half price. The twenty three zero tent with the annex room. 700 bucks off of marketplace built the rack for 50 uh, my buddy ray sold me the jack for 20 the mounts were 30 shovel was 40 etc and so on i got everything used and the best deal i could so the grand total for everything including the few little things not installed is 4818 but i'm gonna wrap this one up guys i appreciate you watching there's some few pictures from my little test trip out to the lbj grasslands near decatur texas uh, me and my buddy ray had a really good campsite Learned a lot about the trailer and things I needed to do. And um, I averaged 17.6 miles per gallon and 150 miles that I drove with the trailer. Mainly no highways, just because back roads and stuff. But it was great. And uh, I encourage everybody to get out there and live it up. I'll see you all in the next video.